One thing that's fun about working on Fluid is getting to try out other people's apps that are in similar spaces. So today I'm taking a look at SoftSpace, um, which is sort of not, it's like a VR working app, but it's like a VR producing work app. It's like a writing and research app, basically. Um, and so I just want to comment on what I see and what I think was done super well about this. Um, there's a bunch of features that I like, and the first and most obvious one is the pass-through. So this like dark sky combined with pass-through on the floor and that gradual transition is really exceptionally well done. Like, I feel like I can look down and find stuff. I have my notes on my lap. I have my keyboard. Sort of like our pass-through window, but like even cuter and more well-defined. Next thing I really love is the space navigation. So where our app is all stationary, this app allows you to actually move around the space that you're working in, and it's got this lovely little touch of like a tiny bit of momentum. Um, you can also rotate and scale. I really like this like super tiny view of my workspace. I wish I could zoom all the way out, but it doesn't want me to get that far. But I love that sort of like movement and scaling. There's another fun feature which I like, which is this, where it sort of zooms you to the window to work on. Um, I'm not, yeah, I, I really like this method of navigation. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it opens links. Oh, that's interesting. It opens links in a new thing. That's cool. This is a really nice feature. Um, there's gotta be some way to do this. Um, pass through place, movement. The other thing I really like is the aesthetic of this app. This like gridded dot space that you get. The same sort of thing when you're moving stuff around on a plane. Just looks fantastic, especially with this light fade towards the edge of it. Like really premium looking UI there. And then another thing that I like are these bracket links. So I am a consistent Obsidian user, and I would love to bring my Obsidian notes into this app and have them populate in 3D space like this. And speaking of 3D space, there's another mode that you can look at stuff with. Um, show ideas, where it builds this web, and I love this. This is super cool, especially, you know, when you can bring it further out. Actually, the way you can do this that I've found is you can just move further away from your workspace. Um, but, like, being able to see that web in 3D space as opposed to the, like, if you guys have ever seen it, that totally overwhelming obsidian graph where it's just got, like, a million and a half connections and you can't see anything, that's amazing. One thing that I think is interesting. Uh, if I use this app more, I'd be able to have a, a more formed opinion about this, but it sort of picks out words. Um, so there's the links. So these two, and I'll save the, the other criticism that I have about this. These two are like actual pages, and then you have these blue links, which are just words that is picked out. That's a weird world to pick out, especially because that's the title of my thing, but it's like picking out words that it thinks are important um, and then like allowing you to build off new pages. And the other thing is it like will fill these in with an AI generated message, which is very weird to me because like this is my project and I like defensive blah, blah, blah. It's just like they asked ChatGPT about this stuff. And I don't know what the function of that is. Like, I don't need <laughs> this app to define things for me. I'm using the links myself. But that's getting into the criticism, which mostly I'm very impressed by this app. The other thing that it does is it has uh, keyboard support uh, with that nice little UI down there. And so you can type everything. Your ability to lay stuff out on a page itself is really good, and like everything you do looks really nice and premium. And then when you're ready to actually write something, 
dive in there, grab my keyboard, and works exactly as well as you'd expect. So it's fun to see some sort of convergent design. We also decided very early on that we wanted to use keyboards instead of Meta's menus, and um, I like that we both have a similar sense about that. Um, the other thing that this app has, which makes this infinitely more useful, is this. It's in-app browser. So especially for like all of these images that you're trying to pull out, um, being able to look online for them, and then just as simple as you know, hold and pull it out and stick it into a 3D space. That just feels amazing to me. And like having this grand overview of your project, I absolutely love. Um, and that's most of the stuff I really like about the app. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It seems like this is also done by one person, uh, which is especially impressive. Um, I would love Oh, actually, I should point out, there's also the, the ability to export a file like this. So if you do a bunch of work in the headset, you can then you know, still use it in other places, which absolutely makes this more usable. Um, so anyway, that's like a, a quick first impressions of soft spaces. I think people who like our app might also want to check this out.